Hello everyone, and welcome to a new journey here in Niche, where clearly there is a thriving island full of Nichelings, happily living out their days, enjoying delicious berries, until the moment of drama strikes! Oh no! And we're being carried away from our island, oh! Hang in there, little guy! <sighs> and here we are. Oh, he looks so sad! We're lost in an utterly strange world and a strange place. As the little baby Nishling Adam! who is going to be beginning his journey with us today. Ouch, that hurt. You're all alone, stranded on an island far from home. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to celebrate the release of Niche. Because if you guys are wondering, Siri, why the heck do you have a tutorial? When you have conquered Niche like so many times, we have literally hundreds of episodes of Niche on our channel. However, today is a very special day because Niche is actually releasing on the Switch. So that means that we are going to have an entirely new era of people coming in and discovering Nichelings and their journey for the the first time and because out of all of the adventures we have done the hundreds of generations that we have had born the thousands of nichelings the pantheon of nicheling gods that we have created in our other series um we have never actually done adam's journey i thought let's go ahead and let's celebrate the release of niche on the switch with a little adam so we're going to be spending some time with this little guy doing our best to help him survive after he has been so tragically torn away from his family and lost in the wilds. Lucky for him when he attacked back and showed that that bird, the big blue birds, that he was not going to just be carried off to be eaten, like, like nothing was happening, that he was going to be able to fight back. Luckily for him, we actually ended up on this little island. But where we go from here is actually a mystery to me, other than knowing that Adam's desire is that he or his descendants will be able to make it back to the home island where he really belongs. So we're going to see if we can help him achieve that. And we're going to see what kind of interesting twist we can add into his story uh, as we get there. And I'm actually very curious if you guys have done Adam's journey before as well. Did you get there with Adam? Did you get there with one of his many, many descendants? So you actually ended up uh, like seeing his, his distant offspring? There we go. Did you end up seeing like one of his distant offspring in the family tree and and they looked completely different from Adam? Because if that's the case, oh, look at his little stripes. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He is so cute. His little toxic fangs so that he can fight back and bite things and poison them if they try to eat him. His adorable little stripes. I really love him. I think our goal is going to be trying to get a striped baby back to his home island. If Adam ages up too much and he becomes too old to get back to home island and his children's children's children have to get back instead, our goal is going to be trying to keep these stripes so that we can really be recognized by the family. So we're gonna try to keep the tiger stripe look. We'll see if we're able to achieve that. So orange with tiger stripes and maybe toxic fangs will be our goal. But we'll have to see if we can do that. Uh, but if you have completed Adam's quest and you have managed to get his family members, his distant descendants back to Adam's home island, what did your final nicheling look like? I really want to know. I want to know how varied the adventure was for you from what we're going to experience because that's what niche is all about. The passing of generations, the randomness of unexpected nichelings showing up, new genetics being added in, unknown dangers on distant islands that you have to fight against in order to survive and find a way forward generation by generation, day by day. Oh, and speaking of survival, let's go ahead and help this little guy. Let's see. Oh, he's too young to collect any food. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we'll explore a little bit. 
And now he has had a very long day, so he needs to go ahead and sleep. If you would like to do the tutorial, then you can definitely get niche on either Switch or the computer, uh, PC, and you can go ahead and follow along with the tutorial. But let's just say that our Adam has a very experienced little nicheling goddess watching over him. That's me. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, he got bigger. Yay. All right. So thankfully he has a berry bush and he has collecting ability. I actually haven't taken a good look at, oh, he has extreme fertility, home island immunity. <gasps> we definitely want to try to keep home island immunity with us as well. Let's see. He's got stripes, black pattern, red horns, recessive brown eyes. He doesn't have any melanism and he doesn't have any albinism in his family history. Uh, no hidden genes there. He's got a medium tail, good hind legs, two runner's legs, so he's a little stealthy, a little speedy, good at collecting. He's got big body, which is good for cold defense, but if we end up on a hot island, that's not going to feel good. Poison fangs, ooh, and poison fang recessive, and he does have short-sighted eyes recessive, so we want to be careful that any mate he might find won't also have short-sighted eyes, uh, because then they might have short-sighted babies, and we don't want that. All right, Adam, you focus on collecting food for a little bit and growing up. That should be enough to keep him busy for a little while. Oh, and now it's raining? Sweet, that means the berries will regrow. There. And now Adam has gotten bigger. There you go, buddy. We're gonna let him go ahead and gather all those berries. And now that we have picked so many of them, let's start wandering. He has actually, like, come of age here. We're going to grab a few more berries just for security reasons. And we actually don't want him to get too old all on his own because he's only got 17 days left to be an adult. So even though it's a little nerve-wracking, we're going to have Adam leave behind the pile of berries, that the berry bush, the, the berry bush that he feels very mm, attached to. It, it almost, almost like it was a flowery parent watching over him. It caught him, after all, as he fell from that bird and gave him a place to roost under and rest and all of the food that he needed to grow up into an adult. So I'm very glad we had that, but I do think it may be time to move on, if we can move on. Can we move on? Is that an option? It is, okay. So we're ready. Knowing that his wonderful berry bush parent is now being nourished and watered by all of the rain, we're gonna go ahead and let Adam sneak off onto a new island. It's gonna be difficult. His claws are going to scrape against the stone as he tries to find his way across these uneven, rocky steps to a new land, but it's time. All animals on Portfield migrate to other islands. Uh, animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. That's okay, it's just us. And we're gonna begin the journey of trying to find our way back to home island. All right. Behind you, the stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. It sounds like animals are living on this island. You smell the presence of a member of your species. <gasps> We're not alone anymore, woo! All right, where are they though? Okay, so we don't smell them just yet. So let's come, <gasps> you are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like what? Hello? It's Eve. This is our Eve. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Okay, so here is our Eve, friends. I can't believe it. And I think that with every Adam's journey, you're going to have a randomized Eve that you're going to meet, your very first nicheling who will end up becoming his mate. Uh, and ours has these beautiful stripes down her tail. She has webbed hind legs. She's got gills so she can breathe underwater. Ram horns, ant eater nose. What? And she also has double runner's legs, so she'll actually be able to pick berries as well. Oh my gosh, Eve. Short-sighted eyes recessive, heat body recessive. I think this is completely randomized so everybody can get a different Eve every time. <laughs> this is amazing. I love her. She's extremely fertile, so we'll have lots of babies. High chance of possibly getting twins. Recessive blue eyes. I think that, that she's definitely completely unlike any nicheling that Adam has ever seen in his life. However, he he is so excited after the many years he has spent alone that he will offer some of the precious berries from his parental berry bush. 
and find that she's actually extremely friendly. The animal you found is a female called Eve. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Let's start a family. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like it's a little soon for that. But we could start a family if we wanted to. I think that Eve will say that she just had swum up to this island and was stopping to rest because these berries smelled so delicious. Uh, she didn't expect to run into someone like Adam here, which was quite a surprise. However, now that they're here, maybe they'll be able to do a little adventuring together. And I think Adam will be extremely excited. Oh, there's even a clamshell down there. We can't pick it though because we don't have any of the, um, the abilities to collect clamshells or nuts or coconut trees. But I feel like Adam would be extremely intrigued hearing that Eve is familiar with being able to travel and explore to other islands. That would be extremely important. Very, very important for the future that he hopes to have of finding his way back home. So since Adam and Eve are still quite young right now, let's go ahead and we will have them. Aw, oh, man. And I didn't... Oh, can we hunt that bundle? Yes! We'll go ahead and we'll have them leave the island together and start exploring. Because Eve will say like, oh, yes, of course, I can help you try to find your way. I mean, they're not in love in love yet. Hopefully he doesn't get hit in the head by a coconut. Oh, he got hit in the head by a coconut! No! <laughs> okay, guys, you don't want to rest under the coconut tree, like any of the areas around the coconut tree, because that's going to turn out pretty painful. So just as they get ready to leave so that Adam and Eve will be able to explore the other islands and hopefully find a future for Adam, he gets hit in the head by a coconut tree. And we can't even collect this coconut. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and have Eve. Uh, what can she do? She can gather the fruit. She can gather bugs. She can attack bundles. But we're going to go ahead and we'll have Eve like rush back over here to gather some fruit to try to like give to him so he feels better because Adam's gonna be he he was he's been stunned again <laughs> no he has gotten stunned a second time oh my gosh we'll try to grab some like bundle meat to help him out hang in there Adam we've got to get him out from under there oh my gosh we finally got him out from under there so after a, a terrible couple days of being stunned in place and, and Eve trying her best to help by gathering food and putting some sort of little like berry grass mixture here, we'll have her like gather up some grass and be like, look, there's some grass right here. So a nice berry grass mixture onto Adam's head to try to give him a, a little bit of relief from all of the bonking that he just got. Let's have Adam say thank you. Uh, and she's ready for babies! <laughs> Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest to give birth in. But he, we're going to say that he said thank you and was just so relieved that one thing led to another. And the next thing you know, she is expecting a baby. Though I don't think they 100% understand that. I would guess. I think these two are quite young. But they only have so many days remaining. And now Adam has taken some damage from the fact that he got bonked by a coconut. <gasps> Oh my goodness! And look, as they were resting, they just ended up having another baby! Look at this little girl! She has Eve's stripes! She's also got Eve's water body, oh my goodness, so she can breathe underwater. And she has her dad's toxic bangs! Yes! Alright, we're gonna give her a new name. She is absolutely precious. Look at that little tail. Look at her awesome stripe! She's a little tiger shark! <gasps> okay, she's gonna be Tigera. And of course, as always, my friends, bringing in your guys' name suggestions means so much to me. So please leave your comments with your names. It's been amazing to weave generations of nichelings together with all of the names that you guys have given over time. We'll have to see if we have any of our nicheling gods born. And if you're new to all of our adventures, I highly recommend checking out many of our other niche stories because we have built up entire pantheons of gods. We have heroes of legend that have emerged over the like eras. It's been amazing. And they're some of my favorite stories we have ever told, especially because there's so many opportunities for you guys to actually bring forth some of your creativity uh, and make all of this possible. All right, and thank you for the helpful tutorial that I don't need to read at this point. Uh, all right, and let's come over and we're gonna do, 
I think we're, we'll gather some berries. I think Adam is so excited that he has got a new baby. We'll have him come and gather some berries. Uh, and also, yeah, we'll have him gather some berries. There's no big birds. I think he'd be a little nervous about big birds, but Tigera should be safe for now. There we go. Look at her, she's so small. And we'll gather berries. There we go. And gather up some of the grasses. All right, and I think that we're gonna have Adam be very happy. Okay, there's only three ports here, so we don't wanna, I, I was gonna try for another baby. In fact, we'll go ahead and, and he'll just bask over his family. He's so happy and he will tell Eve how grateful he is that, oh, I can't believe I found you. I can't believe this is all happening so fast. There we go. But we will not give birth on this island because as you can see, there are only three flower ports and that means that only three nichelings can actually leave here. So let's try to get the little one down. As she has gotten a little older and time has passed, then we will say that her mother insists that we continue our exploring. Don't you want to find your way back to the home island? After all, Adam? And now he has a family to take with him to that home island. Ooh, can they do fishing? Oh, they can swim underwater, but they can't fish. Aw, oh, man. We'll have to see if we can fix that. Can she fish? No, but she can collect a whole bunch of berries. So let's move on. We will travel with the small family together to a new land where hopefully Tigera will be in to become even stronger and we might be able to have some siblings. Uh, all right. Well, and now there's places to choose. We have to choose which way to go, left or right, to try to get to home island. Ooh, that's kind of tricky. Maybe we should have... I think Tigera is going to maybe do a little swim for us because she's just very eager and excited to swim wherever she can. And it alarms Adam because he remembers like when a giant bird tried to eat him. But we'll say that Eve insists that everything's gonna be fine. Swimming is a great way to scout out a new island and see what treasures might be here. Uh, but we'll have Adam go with his daughter just to be like absolutely sure she's gonna be safe. And Eve, oh, Eve found a nest. All right, we'll let her pull herself up into the nest and kind of chirp out and call for Adam. And I think Adam's going to clear away the grass just to be like, all right, remember, Tigera, this is this is going to be the way back to your mother. It's a small island, and I think he can see it's kind of a small island, but it's bigger than any island they've been on before. So I could see if he'd be a little nervous. We have a new baby! It's another girl! Oh, how exciting! Very much like her sister, <gasps> carrying sticky tongue recessive! Oh, and she's got the stripes, and she's got the wonderful toxic fangs. Look at that really awesome back. I love that. I love that they have that cute fin on there. All right, we're going to go ahead, and she reminds me of a black fin shark, actually, or like a, a black tip shark, if you guys know those guys. Um, so we're going to name her, hmm, hmm, Tigera, and let's go with um, Blee? I kind of like Blee. I don't know why. There, we'll go with like Blee. There. Sometimes it's fun just to give them nonsense nicheling names. But all right. What a surprise. So now we have got two babies already. I think Adam is somewhat shocked. Oh, and he found a bush. And he'll be like, I'll be right there. I'm bringing some, some fruit for the new baby. And let's actually have Tigera come over and help out so that she can bring some food to her sibling as well. Here we go. All right, Adam's gonna like load up and then jump over to see what's going on. And Tiger is gonna clear a few things away. And we're gonna show off the new baby. Holy cow, how many babies can we have? Adam, are you getting old? He's got only six days left. Oh boy, I don't know. Now he's starting to feel kind of old. Now like he's got two daughters. I think that he's beginning to think like, Eve probably still feels like exploring a little further, but there's a bush, there's a nest, there's this big island that seems safe for his daughters to swim in. So I think Adam's beginning to think like, I wonder if this might be the end of my journey. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is going to be really fun. I have not done Adam's journey before, so being able to see how he will pass on the search for home island to his daughter's daughter's daughters 
will be a really elegant thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the time will pass and the generations will change and who exactly his great, 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 great grandchildren will be when they finally step paw on home island once again. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Adam uh, and his, his wary adventures, and especially for his two daughters. I'm hoping he might have some more daughters and we could just have this fleet of fast swimming daughters swim through the sea searching for home island together because that sounds amazing. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, including hundreds of nicheling episodes we have already crafted, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.